Fiverco is essentially a partnership between three very large players in, uh, in the industry in South Africa. We've got Celsi, who you mentioned, who has an extensive uh, national wireless network. Uh, we've got Internet Solutions, that's a very large service provider to the corporates for bandwidth and connectivity and so on. And then we've got Convergence Partners, which is a very um, active in investor in the infrastructure market. And what these partners have come together to do is to put together um, a very significant open access, long haul transmission network, which we think is going to unlock the, the bandwidth bottleneck in long haul transmission in the country and help to bring a, a completely new range of services into the market with much higher speeds of broadband at much lower prices and really with a very different value proposition to what we see today. So the benefit for the end consumer is an issue of reduction in costs and far to broadband connectivity? Yeah, both of those. I mean, ultimately, what Fiberco is focusing on is really the long haul part of infrastructure. So you have the international uh, capacity which is needed to connect to the rest of the world. You have the national uh, capacity which connects between cities. And then you have local networks within cities to get to the end consumer. We're focusing on the middle part, which is really the national transmission. But clearly, there's a knock on effect. Once we um, introduce more competition, invest in more infrastructure on the long haul, it opens up competition to other parts of the of the service chain and will bring prices down for the end user. In terms of the way um, these fibers are put in place and the way um, these optic networks are sort of structured, are partnerships the most efficient way in order to get the job done? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, if you look at the cost of building these kinds of networks, the actual um, cable installation, so the digging of the trench and the burying of it, is something that's 60 to 70 percent of the cost. So clearly, if you can avoid duplicating that cost, to build multiple networks, that is the most efficient way to go. I think the big opportunity in South Africa is that whilst there are some players that are quite active in terms of building infrastructure, we think that if you look at the needs of the country three to five years down the line, there's still a need for a significant additional infrastructure to meet the growing demands of a country like ours. So that's really where we see the opportunity. We're not trying to replicate what's there. We're looking to enhance upon it and put together the most efficient combination to deliver the services we're looking to provide. This fiber optic network is uh, about 12,000 kilometers and it's going to be touching the major hubs Cape Town, Johannesburg and Durban. How's it going to, as you mentioned, enhance what's already there? Okay, so um, we're looking at 12,000 kilometers in total. The first phase is somewhere around 4,500 kilometers and that is really the link between the three major urban areas. Now what it's going to do is it's going to enhance the level of connectivity between those major urban areas um, and each other, firstly, which is very important, and also to the submarine cable landing stations on each coast. And really what that will do is allow people to build much more high-speed networks, much more resilient networks in terms of redundancy between different infrastructures, which is important to maintain high service levels. And that should incre increase or enhance the experience for end users significantly. I think the ultimate experience will be people will be using a lot more bandwidth much higher speeds of bandwidth at a very affordable price point. And let's take a look at the market in which you're playing in. Um, what does the market field look like in terms of a landscape? How competitive is the industry? And a partnership like this one, what does it do in terms of reshaking and repositioning that landscape in South Africa? Yeah, that's a very important point. I mean, clearly, we all know there are a number of large investors or large operators in the country who are making significant investments in infrastructure. And, uh, you know, all of the telcos have been very active in terms of this space. I think what's different about Fiberco is we're not looking to replicate what they have or to compete with the offering that's there because what we're offering is something fundamentally different. I mean, essentially, we're offering the ability for our customers to build their own networks, um, to design and implement those networks using our infrastructure in a way which allows them a far greater degree of control over what they build with much higher speeds and a completely different economic structure. And essentially, we're passing on the economic benefit inherent within the technology to the customer. Now, that's something that's different from what's available at the moment. So we really see it as a new offering that's filling a gap which isn't there at the moment and it's if anything it's complementing the services that are there already in a way that benefits the customer. The launch of this partnership was announced today but in terms of rollout what are the realistic expectations in terms of projection of when we're actually going to likely to see as I mentioned to the end user reduction in cost and faster broadband connectivity? Yeah, that's very important so our first phase which we've targeted to connect the three main urban centers is uh, intended to be completed within the next two years so by the end of 2012 that ring will be in place um, we do expect to bring links on earlier than that as those are built and so we should see some improvement ahead of that point but but to keep a, an expectation in mind it's two years and what are the cost of something like this so the total rollout that we see is somewhere upwards of five billion rand but obviously that's a huge challenge and, and we'll get there in a series of stages the first phase is um, between one and a half and two billion rand and that's clearly a significant investment
All right. Now, uh, we're talking about the African continent now, and I want to know, obviously, the South African market is huge. I mean, we're talking about the government hopes to reach a penetration level of 15% by 2019. But the African continent really is, um, is, is a market in and of itself. What are your African expansion plans? Um, that's very much part of what we're looking at. I mean, for the short term, the Fiber, fiber Co project is really um, centered around South Africa. But looking ahead, we've got very clear plans to take this model into the rest of the continent. Again, uh, much with the South African landscape, we see a complementary role that can be played by this kind of infrastructure there. And if you look at the impact that the undersea cable landing stations are having in the rest of the continent, there's a huge need for terrestrial backbone infrastructure. So in terms of the competency that we build with these partners, as far as building these networks and managing them for customers, is, we do intend to take that forward. You look at countries like Tanzania, East Africa, Nigeria, there are huge opportunities there. But right now we want to focus on, on our home market and that is South Africa.